Hello, uh, shut up. We're going to see again um, how to create this illustration through a walkthrough video where I'm going to highlight the main, the main <laughs> ideas and then uh, we also have a written tutorial so look in the video description because you have a link in there if you want more details. Obviously we're not gonna go through the little animation that I created because that's just another thing and you know it's just an intro for this video. Uh, the, the tutorial is all about the illustration in Affinity Designer, which as you know, it doesn't animate, so... So, um, the first thing was obviously picking a bird, and I picked this Eurasian Jaybird. I'm gonna show you, I went to Pixabay, and well, yeah, there are some uh, examples of this bird in here. Uh, the one I picked was... Uh, where are you? Ah, uh, here. Here, this one, that's the one I used uh, as a reference for the colors, for the shape and everything. Of course, I always tweak things, but uh, just so you know, it's detailed in the tutorial. So uh, once I have that, uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating my bird. Um, I have it isolated in here. As you can see, I'm going to highlight this. This is the main body shape that I just traced with the pen tool. I added some corner tool here to just uh, smooth, make softer my, my notes. And then I did the same for the wings. Not this one, this is for later. Um, sorry. <laughs> so, then I did this one, which is uh, the upper side of the wing. And, and then all the little parts for the bird. I obviously created all these shapes uh, by looking at the... I'm gonna just bring back again the reference which I have in here. I'm gonna make it smaller. <clears throat> so if you look at... Um, me. If you look at it here, you can see we have this area which would correspond to this, this area which would correspond to this and so forth. And the same for the head. Well, I just mix a bit of what I see and, 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 a bit, uh, and a bit of what I just want to put in there just to make it more interesting. So basically this is uh, clip mask uh, shapes with gradient colors and a little bit of noise etc. For the wings I also added a little bit of um, brushes in the pixel persona. I show it uh, in depth in the, in the written tutorial but you can see it in here. Yeah, see there? That's a uh, brush it's just the texture so that's what i did to create the the bird um, this one in here also has a little bit of uh, brush texture in here just some simple lines nothing really complex and and so forth uh, in some cases i i put a gradient to the shapes like in this case for example you can see it in here there's a gradient uh, in some other cases uh, well this is a gradient but it could be just a flat color doesn't really matter. Uh, what I wanted to do mainly was uh, because if you look in here, uh, the sun is coming from here. This is a sunset. So what I want to do is a little bit of a highlight in the color here, uh, just as I did for uh, the, the pole where it's perching and also for these branches and for the hills and for the tree. Um, the thing is that initially I just did it like this and I also thought it worked for the tail and the pole but somehow in here uh, when I added it I didn't like it it looked like a parrot <laughs> so not that I'm completely happy with this um, solution I took but um, I created a subtract uh, shape see here it's here okay and I added it as a highlight uh, it's, you know in this case I also take the chance to show some people um, especially those uh, beginners that are not so familiar with, with this, how to create a subtractor boolean operation to, to create this kind of uh, effect. So basically, well, I've done this a thousand times in other tutorials, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. It's here, so I duplicate it, I offset it a bit, I select both of them here, and I subtract 
That way I have this shape which would be would correspond to this you see in here, okay? Well you see, you <laughs> hardly see in here. I'm gonna put it here so you see it better, okay? That's the highlight. So that's another um, way to do highlights instead of just using them. Well, the gradient, which is what I used here, as you can see, this is a gradient, okay? If I move it, you're gonna see, wee, eh? see there, okay? So, yeah, that's for the bird, quite simple. If you want more detail, again, go to the written tutorial. Let's see now the, um, the branch. It's quite simple, I just used the simple shape with a pen tool, and then I gave it, um, sorry, I gave it a gradient as you can see in here. I duplicated it here, like for the little branch. See there again, and then with the tear uh, primitive shape that you're gonna find in here. I where is it here? Um, I created the the leaves, and as you can see in here, it finishes with a kind of like orange color. So it also you know shows a little bit of the sun hitting over the the lips and um, yeah um, here you can see there is this green gradient and all of a sudden it goes like wing so it just uh, wraps around the the pole a little bit more that i did with a rounded rectangle i'm gonna show you there so instead of being so like straight well a little trick just to make it uh, more like wrapping wrapping around the pole now this is the background and again um well First off, we created the background with these colors that again are detailed in the written tutorial with all the color cuts and so forth. And then I created the heels with just some simple ellipses that I converted into curves. You see in there, so I can manipulate the notes to it. Um, I also added uh, a gradient that you can see in here. I reversed <laughs> just because i just did it all the way around doesn't really matter i just put it like this because the sun is gonna be here so i want the sun hitting over the hills like for example in these edges i think it uh, gives you know a really nice effect like sun hitting over the hills uh, this um one well this one and also this one i duplicated just to give a little bit of you know interest to it and i also created a little um um tree and you can see the tree is just composed by three simple ellipses uh, a simple shape for uh, what are you for the here for the trunk and then again what i did come here again the same little trick i love to use which is take this take this subtract and now we have the highlight for all this area same for the ellipses okay so that is for the background uh, then i added the sun and the, the clouds now you can see here this is um the graphic for here for this branch in here so it's <coughs> sorry it's just some um ellipses with a little bit of transparency so uh they are not so conspicuous or so so in your face so you can see through i think it works better makes it more light and not so heavy blocky there in the top right corner so that's what i did this branch is just exactly as the pole no mystery to it and and finally what i want to show you is this uh golden ratio uh, in order to talk a little bit about composition so um you can see here we have the golden spiral all the interest is um, focused here in the upper side of the bird, head, eye. So that's what I use in order to create a um, flowing and nice composition. So elements don't collide with each other. Uh, I talked about this in other tutorials where I explained that uh, you don't want to have you know, things colliding with each other in weight, in, in position. So this is a little bit to explain how I created this uh, composition. Okay, so see you <laughs> some other time. Bye. Have a giggly day today. Mm.